Now we all know that being uphill gives us certain advantages, but do you know what those advantages are? Entities speed up when running downhill and slow down when running uphill. This is all relative to how steep the slope is. Melee entities that are attacking downhill deal up to 30% more damage depending on the difference between them and their target's height. You will see the maximum damage bonus of 30% at a 1 meter height difference. Ranged entities that are firing missiles down onto the enemy deal up to 30% more damage depending on the difference between them and their target's height, with a maximum bonus at 40 meter height difference. Both of these bonuses also work in the opposite way. So an entity gaining 30% more damage attacking downhill is also taking 30% less damage from the target if it attacks back. This is one of the main reasons that having archers on the walls is so powerful, as they deal both more damage and take less damage when engaging other ranged units that are down on the ground. Units moving up slopes also take a penalty to their fatigue up to 150% more fatigue gained depending on the steepness of the hill. Now there is a way to counteract these negative bonuses when attacking uphill. Units with the strider effect will not be penalized for any uphill actions. They would deal normal damage attacking uphill while still benefiting from the downhill bonuses. It should be noted that these effects are calculated at the entity level and is relative to each individual man in the unit. This means some men in the unit can be uphill while some can be downhill of whatever target they are attacking. But as a rule of thumb, downhill is your friend. This also goes double for cavalry since speed is an important factor in charge impacts. Okay, so we can see here that I did three runs for each test and averaged them. You can pause the video here if you would like more time to look through the numbers. Since I did the tests on bleak swords versus bleak swords and dread shards versus dread shards, we can assume that if we were to test them in an equal situation, we would get around a 50-50 win ratio doing roughly the same damage to each other in the end. Now if we compare the damage done versus damage taken, while having uphill advantages, we can see that the bleak swords with the uphill advantage did significantly more damage and had more kills than the bleak swords on the downhill side. Roughly the same outcome happened for the dread shards as well. The main video takeaway is that fighting downhill has two main advantages. Your units can get up to a 30% damage bonus, even missile infantry, and your enemies downhill have increased fatigue gain. Basically, you always want to try using hills on the battlefield. That's all we have for today. If you have any critiques on how I do my testing, please leave a comment below highlighting your suggested methods. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already.